My new gaming laptop versus my PC. This laptop is probably better than your PC with an RTX 4090 in it. And my PC has an RTX 3080 with both of these costing about 3k. So if you didn't know, laptops offer less performance than an actual PC because of power limitations and how much heat it produces in such a compact form. It's good for traveling and a lot more convenient than a PC. But in this video, I'm going to do my best to make this laptop perform as good as my PC. I'll be doing things like applying tweaks to the laptop and connecting it to a monitor as it's supposed to boost the FPS. So now let's see if this fully specced out laptop can outperform my PC. Thank you Lenovo for providing me with this laptop. Alright, so I decided to test out the performance on my PC first, so I got Fortnite loaded up. Alright, so I'm getting like 400 to 500 FPS in this creative match, and I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a lot more out of this PC. I think a couple of seasons ago, I was actually getting like almost a thousand FPS on this thing. My PC is fully tweaked, but I guess over time, my FPS just got lower. Alright, so I'm free building with my FPS capped at 240, and it's running pretty consistently. Of course, it's not like hard stuck at like... 240 like most pcs can't do that unless you have like an insane pc but overall this pc isn't experiencing any fps drops stutters or any lag and i mean it's as expected because the specs on this pc isn't bad at all all right so now i'm just gonna hop in a ranked game and see how well it performs use code icy in the fortnite item shop and i'll send you feet picks i just landed and so far my fps is pretty stable Oh my gosh, what the hell? No way this guy loses this. So the performance on my PC was pretty good, it ran smoothly with no issues at all, but now I'm gonna hop on my laptop to test out the performance and optimize it. Alright, so I just loaded into a creative match on this laptop and I'm only getting around 200 FPS, which is a lot lower than I expected, but that's probably because I set the resolution to this resolution, which is like 2K or something like that, which makes the game a lot harder to run. The good thing about this display is it makes the game look so crispy, like the display on this thing is insane. Alright, so once again, I have my FPS capped at 240 and the game feels perfectly fine, but for some reason the FPS is on the lower side with it dropping to like 190 sometimes. So I'm just gonna hop in a game real quick and see how well it performs in a game and then I'm gonna go tweak this laptop. Alright, so I just landed and my FPS is like 200 right now, which is not bad at all. Alright, so I just left the POI and my FPS is at like 100 to like 130. The FPS isn't that stable because it was literally like 200 when I was inside the POI. It was really laggy. There's a lot of FPS drops. And this keyboard is super hard to play on compared to my other keyboard. But I'm gonna tweak this thing really quick, so hopefully it's gonna be a lot better. All right, so it took me like 10 minutes to get through this entire tweaking utility, but now I just need to restart my laptop for the tweaks to kick in. All right, so I got the tweaks applied to my laptop and I'm getting like 500 to 600 FPS, which is a lot more than I expected and even more than my PC. The tweaks definitely helped out a lot with a 400 FPS boost. The crazy thing is I'd probably get more FPS if I cooled this thing off properly. If you guys are wondering if it's really hot, it's actually not that hot at all. It's just a lot more loud if you guys can't tell in the background, but it's a lot more loud. So my FPS is at like 600, but I could definitely see this laptop getting like 700 to 800 if I did a few more things to it and cooled it off properly with like a cooling pad or something. The performance on this laptop is already better than my PC, 
but if I added like a keyboard and monitor, it would be even crazier. This display is already 240Hz, but it would be a lot better playing on a bigger display. And this built-in keyboard isn't bad at all, but it would just be nicer to play on a faster keyboard. Alright, so I just landed and my FPS is really stable in this building. It's at like 200, 240. It's really stable. It's a lot better than before. The tweaks definitely helped out a lot. Alright, so nobody landed with me on my POI, but out here I'm getting consistent 240 FPS, which is really good. Before I was getting like 90 and even as low as 70 when I came out of my POI, so... Dude, what is this kid doing? Dude, I'm actually in bot lobbies. I'm actually so washed at this game. Oh, that's a bot. So the tweaks I did to the laptop definitely helped out a lot with it getting more FPS than my PC. Now I'm going to connect the laptop to an external display as it's supposed to boost the FPS a bit. Before I do so, I'm going to swap out my main monitor with this new gaming monitor from Lenovo. It's better than my current Alienware monitor with a 250Hz display and a 0.5ms response time. Alright, so I just got the Lenovo Leogen gaming monitor set up, which is supposed to be better than my Alienware one. Now let's see if an external monitor actually boosts the FPS on a gaming laptop. Alright, so with the monitor, I'm getting around 700 FPS right now. And before with the laptop only, I was getting like 600 FPS. So I definitely got an FPS boost. Alright, so I got like 100 more FPS with this monitor connected, which is a lot more than I expected. Usually, you're not supposed to get that much more FPS with a monitor connected, but this map got updated and like they took out some mountains, so maybe that's why I got 100 more FPS. In the end, I was able to turn this laptop that was getting about 200 FPS into 700 FPS. Thank you for sticking until the end, and thank you Lenovo for the products and the video.